Next, we can take a look at the billing rates. You can set up billing rate tables, as many as you like. I currently have two, one called fixed price and one called time and expense. You can set up as many of these as you like, and the billing rate table does a number of things for you. The first thing it does is defines what accounts are billable. In the example we see here, I have line set up for project account direct labor and line set up for account reimbursable expenses. That indicates that amounts booked to those two accounts are billable and should flow over to my invoice. In addition to determining what is billable and what is not, you also specify the rate markup that you want to apply to this. You can specify a unit rate. For example, in, in labor scenario, I could specify a rate of $75 per hour, or you can specify a percent markup. In the scenario of reimbursable expenses, maybe I want to mark up my expenses 20% and then bill that through. Here I've specified an amount rate of 1.2. The rates do have effective dates, so you can keep a whole history of your rates as they may change. You can also override rates for specific labor categories, or you can override rates for specific resources right in the screen. Say if a particular resource or a particular labor category demands a different billable rate. These billing rates are later attached to a project on a project by project basis, again giving you control to allow one project to behave differently than another project in terms of billing.